What's up everyone, Clint Eastwood's newest movie Cry Macho just released in theaters and on HBO Max, so let's review it. Real quick before we jump into the video, if you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And this is going to be a spoiler free review for the movie, so if you haven't seen the movie, you're free to watch this video. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So this movie is directed by Clint Eastwood and also stars Clint Eastwood in the lead role. Essentially his character in the movie, he's like a cowboy, I think, from Texas. Um, and he gets sent by um, one of his friends to go to Mexico and bring his friend's son home. I'm not sure the exact reason that he has to actually go get the kid in Mexico, but that's essentially the plot of the movie, and um, he goes and gets the kid, and you really have, the really the main plot of the movie is the bonding between Clint Eastwood and the son, and kind of the stuff they do on getting back home to getting getting to Texas, um, so that's really the plot of the movie with no spoilers, and overall, I actually had a pretty good time with this movie, I think, I see it getting a lot of hate online um, from Letterboxd, but I think I think it's a much better movie than people are letting on about it. I First off, I just think it's awesome to see Clint Eastwood still making movies. Obviously, when it comes to American cinema, he's like a legend. Um, he, you know, he's been doing it since the 60s, and you know, he's over 90 now. And he's still doing, you know, movies, mo making movies, directing and starring in these movies, even being, being the lead role in this movie. I think that's just awesome to see, and it's really, you know... I think he's a really good, talented filmmaker and a really talented actor, and it's just, it's really awesome to see him in a movie, even if this was far from his best movie that he's made, it's just still really enjoyable to see him on screen, you know, at his age, I think that's just a huge nod to Clint Eastwood there. And on what I liked about the movie, I just found it to be a very comforting and simple plot, um, about, like, kind of this, kind of this bonding, this coming-of-age story that I just really had a good time with, and about really this kid trying to find out who he is and, like, what he wants to do and where he wants to be in life, um, and, you know, kind of, you have some arcs with Clint Eastwood's character and what he wants to do and stuff like that. Um, he, him being older. Um, it's just there's a lot of good stuff in there. It's very heartfelt. It's a very simple movie. It's very easy to get into. It's not you know it doesn't require a whole lot of thinking. It's just a very enjoyable movie. It feels like it's a bit older. It doesn't feel like a movie you'd get in 2021. It feels like kind of a 90s drama type movie, and I really enjoyed that about it. And Clint Eastwood, I think from the movies I've seen, I haven't seen a ton of his directed movies. Um, but from the ones I've seen, ones I've seen, he's very good at taking kind of these simple stories and really expanding upon them, and really adding emotion and really taking like a simple story and just making it so much more than that. And I think he does that here. Um, once again, this is far from his best movie, but it's just I really enjoyed. Um, so much about this movie, especially when it comes to just my simple enjoyment of sitting there in the theater, and I actually did see this movie in theaters, which is a very weird movie to see, considering it was on HBO Max, of all the movies that I didn't see in theaters this year, I see Cry Macho, which, which is weird, but I thoroughly enjoyed myself in the theater watching this movie, um, because it's just, once again, very comforting, very simple, very easy to watch, and it doesn't overstay its welcome, it's only like an hour, 50 minutes, you know, it doesn't take too long. Um, it's just like, like I said, I really liked that. Also, I thought the cinematography in this movie was really good. And since I was in the theater, obviously everything looks better, better on a theater screen. Um, but particularly the, like, there was a nice, nice shots of like the South, of the Southwest area in, in Mexico and Texas that I just thought looked really cool. Um, just really pleasing to see on theaters. There's also just some cool cinematography moments in the movie that overall I thought worked really well for me. Um, I also, I thought the characters were very likable. There's, um... Clint Eastwood's character and the kid, I don't remember either of their names, but um, they were enjoyable characters. Were all, all the side characters or like the protagonist side characters in the movie were um, you know, very enjoyable on screen. And, um, you know, there was villains as there. I, I didn't really care much for the villains because they just weren't really developed. Like, I thought the characters were fine for me. I did enjoy them. I was rooting for them in the movie through the stuff they go through. And I just, like... I didn't have any issues with the characters. I thought they were fine. There was nice development um, throughout the movie. And that really worked for me. And that's another thing I think Clayce was good at is character development and making it so you care about these characters. And I think he did a fine enough job here. Um, so like I said, I really did enjoy Cry Macho. I think it is a pretty good movie. I think it is worth seeing if you do get the opportunity. It is free on HBO Max. I did have a few issues with the movie that I'm going to cover real quick. I thought the acting was a little weird at times from pretty much most of the characters. Um, the guy in the beginning, that's the kid's father, I thought his acting was really bad. He just did not feel like he was, like, in this movie, or, like, he just really felt, like, out of touch or something. I don't know. It just fell off for some reason. Um, and then Clint Eastwood's acting, he's old, I get it, but he just, there was moments where you could really feel his age in this movie, and he really struggled at times. I don't want to say too much, you know, because he is old, and it's just awesome to see him making a movie at his age. But there was moments where you could feel it and it definitely hurt my experience. The kid's acting, I think it's like the first movie he's ever been in. Um, it was a little questionable at times. I think it got better as the movie went on. But a little times it kind of just felt fake. So the acting I thought was a little bit of an issue in this movie. 
Um, also, there's just some weird character moments in the movie, particularly from Clint Eastwood. Um, his character didn't... his him himself he himself didn't entirely fit the character he was playing his character i imagine would have been in like his 60s or 70s but he was you know he's 90 um so that didn't entirely work for me um if you see the movie you'll understand why i say that he kind of miscasted himself in the lead role because it just didn't feel like that was that he could pull he was that character that he was playing if that makes sense um also the plot was a little clunky at times it just kind of like cut from scene to scene the pacing was weird things happened very quickly like the final act happens in like five minutes and then it's just over um it's just things happen really quickly and it just um that hurt my experience with the film because it just it's just like you're watching something and abruptly it cuts to something else it didn't really take its time with this movie it just the editing was a little weird at times just small technical issues like that that kind of add up as there was a number of them throughout the movie um mainly like the um the plot itself just was really like kind of like choppy um, and, st and stuff like that. But overall, I really did enjoy Cry Macho. I thought it was a pretty good movie. No nothing amazing, nothing that's going to blow you away, nothing like best of the year or, or anything like that. Just a very simple movie that I really enjoyed. It was a very comforting plot. The characters were good, and I just like. And it, like Clint Eastwood, I think he does a good job at making these kind of drama-centered plots, and I think he did that here. Um, I just overall, it was a really enjoyable movie for me. I really enjoyed my time in the theaters, so I'm gonna give Cry Macho a 3.5 out of 5 and a 74%. Uh, like I said, I recommend you check out this movie if you have the chance. It's I had a good time with it. I like Clint Eastwood's movies, um, and this was pretty much what I wanted. Certainly, there were some technical issues that hampered my enjoyment a little bit. But overall, I really did enjoy this movie. Anyways, that's going to do it for my review of Cry Macho. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Tell me if you have seen Cry Macho or if you plan to see Cry Macho. I'm certainly interested to hear what people think about it. Um, as I've seen mixed reviews uh, of, of it um, pretty much from um, on Letterboxd and on YouTube. Um, so anyways, as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.